Hi everyone, I'm Liz Peterson, founder of Ops Designed, which is a sales process design and automation consultancy. As you all know, I love Pipedrive and I love Pipedrive's email feature. But when you start automating emails through Pipedrive, things get especially fun. So there are loads of different triggers you can have for email automation in Pipedrive, but today I wanna show you one specific case, which is automating an email when a deal is won. So you can replace this trigger with lots of different things. For example, if you want a email to send out when a deal stage changes or when a detail field is updated. All of those things are possible. Uh, you just have to change that filter condition step, which I will go into in the demo. So first thing I've done is I've created a template email. So I wanna show you what that email looks like here. So here it is our sales deal is one template. So here I have hi first name. So I have a dynamic field. This is the person first name here. Then I'm also pulling in the deal owner and then I have my email signature here. So I'm not gonna actually send this because I'm gonna send this out via automation. That is what the email template looks like, which I've built in advance. So now going to build the automation. I'm going to go to automations and then click this add automation button. So my trigger is when a deal is updated. Let me move this out of the way here. So I'm going to apply this trigger. Now, I need to have a filter step here. So that's the instant condition and in pipe drive. That's consider it a filter. I don't want this email to send out every time a deal is updated, because then if I update a field or update the stage or add an activity, all of that is an update. And so that would send this email many times throughout the sales process. So I want to restrict this to only sending when the deal status has changed to one, and then I'm also going to say, just so I can show you an example of having kind of multiple conditions here, I only want this to apply to deals in the sales pipeline. So I will then select pipeline and then is, and then our sales pipeline. So you can see as I was pulling that up, there's tons of different conditions to choose from. You've got all of your initial kind of triggers like the deal, the deal fields or deal conditions. And then you also get lots of has changed, has not changed, is, was not, all those sorts of statements that you can play with as well. So you can get really uh, specific with when you want automations to go out. So I'm gonna apply this condition and then I'm going to now take the action step. I could add a delay step if I wanted to say, hey, send this 30 minutes later or something to make it, if I wanted to have some sort of time delay to make it feel less automated, I love doing that. But here, I'm just gonna do the action step. So the action is I want to send an email and I want to send it using a template. If I just do send email, then the email lives in the automation. And if I ever need to or want to make a change to that email, I actually have to go to the automation, find it and edit it in the automation. So I like using a template because those are easier to access and edit on an ongoing basis for me. So that's my preference, but either does work. So I'm gonna go next. Then this step is just asking you to select the fields that you wanna be able to program in the next. For example, do you wanna have someone CC'd? Great, then you would select this box. I don't want someone CC'd. I'm just gonna do the from because I want to select a different email account. If you have multiple email accounts synced in Pipedrive, this is where you can select which email you want that email to be from. Then I want to have the deal as well as the person uh, because I want to be able to link this email there so that it's visible on the deal, on the person, to myself and any other users in Pipedrive. And then I want to be able to select the email signature and the tracking. So I click next and then this to field is probably one of the more confusing for people. So who do you wanna send this email to? You wanna send this to the person connected to the deal. So it is this option here, the deal contact person email. There's this like deal contact person email before, that's if you had some sort of update condition related to the email in this condition step, you might wanna select is it the email before the update or the email after the update. I don't have that in this case, so either of these options would be fine, but it's the deal contact person email, the deal creator email, that's gonna be whoever created the deal, that's gonna be someone internal, deal owner is also gonna be someone internal, and then that's the same before condition. So deal contact person email. 
Then select the template. So sales deal is one. Then here this from, so I'm going to send this from contact at Ops Designed. And it's always going to send from that email address. Then the email template deal, it's just the deal, the single option. Then the person, it's going to be the same thing. Is it like before or after? It doesn't matter which one you select. I'm just going to select this one in this case. And then do you want to use your email signature? Yes, I do. Do I want track opening? Yes. And do I want link click opening tracking? Yes, I want that as well. So I'm going to apply that action. Then I want this to be triggered by any user. So if any user in my account marks the deal as one, I want this email to go out from contact at, and then I can name it, put in that there. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to make it active. And then as I always recommend testing it. So I'm going to do that with you here. So I'm going to go back to my deals now. And I'm going to look at all of my open deals here. This one I have in the final stage. And you can see this is the information here on the person. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this deal as one. And then we should see this email pop up here under this history in just a moment. Yay, there it is. So here, if I expand this, There we go. <laughs> you can see it addresses the person, Liz. It names Rachel, the deal owner. It has my email signature, and then it's got the open tracking. There isn't a link in this, otherwise we would see a little blue dot for that as well. And if I went to my email, I would be able to see it here, but that automation is now done. So play around with this, have fun. There's lots of awesome email automation that you can do. And if you have any questions or comments, put them below. I love hearing from you and get great ideas for future demo videos from your comments as well. Thanks.